I know sometimes we may go through that feeling, the feeling of our prayers being empty, meaning we're going from day to day to day, from prayer to prayer, and it feels like we're just going through the motions and we're not getting anything out of our prayer. It feels like our heart is not connected to the prayer. It feels like we're not spiritually growing through our prayers. It feels like we're not getting closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through our prayers. And when that starts happening to us, we may feel like there's no point in praying. That is definitely the feeling that the shaitan wants to encourage within us. And that's why we'll have those feelings of what's the point? If there's nothing that I'm getting out of this prayer, if I don't feel anything, why even bother praying? Has this just become a ritual for me that I'm just going through the motions and nothing's actually happening? The shaitan encourages that because he wants us to cut off our connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, the word salah comes from sila, which means connection. So our prayer is actually our connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that means that sometimes that connection will be strong, sometimes that connection will be weak, but as long as that connection is there, it means that we have a path to Allah. Once we stop praying or once we quit the prayer, it means that connection has been cut off. And that is why it is important to keep that connection open and alive, even if we're not feeling anything. On top of that, I don't even necessarily agree with the term empty prayer because I don't believe any prayer is truly empty. Even though it may feel empty, it is never truly, truly empty. The fact that we are purposefully with the correct intention going through the motions, it means that there is something there within our prayer. And even a little bit can go a very long way. Maybe 99% of our prayer is empty. But there is that 1% in which our heart is connected to Allah. And who are we to say that that 1% is something that we don't need? Who are we to belittle any deed? Maybe that 1% is enough to forgive us. Maybe we come on the day of judgment and we are grateful that we had that 1%. We all know the story of the woman who was forgiven for all of her sins because she gave water to a thirsty dog. You look at that action on face value and it may not seem like that big of a deal compared to all of her sins, but it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who decides how much our deeds are worth. So maybe our whole prayer is empty, but out of that whole prayer there is a single sajda in which our heart connects to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maybe it is that one sajda in which Allah forgives us because we poured our heart out to Allah. Maybe it is one dua made in our prayer that can reconnects us with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Maybe it is that one dua that forgives all of our sins. So who are we to say that our prayer is truly empty? As long as a person is praying, even if they feel like that prayer is empty, it means that they're on the right path. It means that they have a connection established with Allah. And if that habit is intact, then maybe right now we're not feeling much out of our prayer, but it may be that one moment, a moment of difficulty maybe, a moment when we truly realize that we need Allah and we are already in prayer and we connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So no matter how empty your prayer may feel, no matter how much it may feel like you're just going through the motions, never ever quit on your prayer. Our worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the end of the day is a struggle. It is difficult. It has ups and downs and that is absolutely normal. Don't let the shaitan convince you that just because your prayer isn't perfect or it's not good enough that you should let it go. By that logic, none of us would do any acts of worship because none of our acts of worship are actually perfect. But the point is that we keep trying. The point is that we keep going. The point is that we have that connection established with Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us patience and perseverance in worshiping Allah. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep our hearts firm no matter what is happening around us. Allahumma ameen. Before you leave, the question I have for you today is what do you do personally to keep yourself motivated in your prayer? So those moments in which you are feeling weak, how do you get yourself to keep going in your prayer? Share in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and I'm sure everyone could benefit as well. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.